Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this Dad Rail live stream. We are taking a peek on the Peak Forest. Starting in 10 minutes' time. 10 minutes' time for a peek on the Peak Forest. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Mind the gap. Good evening once again ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Dad Rail stream taking a peek on the Peak Forest. We will be starting at 2030 in around about 6 minutes time. Place your bets now on whether it will be on time or not.
Passengers are reminded that smoking is prohibited at all stations and on all train services. This includes e-cigarettes. is a safety announcement. It is not permitted to cycle, skateboard, or rollerblade within the station building. Hello, good evening everybody, how are we all doing? 4 rep, 3,000 and free says tea and biscuits at the ready. We haven't even started yet, we've, come on, give me the benefit of the doubt. It could be a tea and biscuits free stream, you never know your luck. Anyway guys, welcome to this stream. We are doing a run on the newly released Peak Forest route for Trains in Well Free, and we're going to take a peak on the peak. Come on, someone had to do it sooner or later, didn't they? It had to be done, it had to be done. Just before we jump into the stream, guys, and as always, you know exactly what I'm going to say. All the views and opinions expressed within this stream, solely on my own, may not reflect those of any companies I may be employed by or associated with. I've also got to tell you that Dovetail have given me this route completely free of charge, um, but all of the opinions are entirely my own. We are going to be having our very, very popular game. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. That's the one. You know it. Sorry, my background music was doing weird things then. Uh, and the picture today has been provided by me. Yes, I'm, uh, I'm having a go myself. So, let's press that button there. Let's get jump into the game and then we'll go through the chat and see if we can't answer some of your questions. Hey, James Kirkham, new subscriber, welcome. Okay, Peak Forest. So I have created a scenario, which I hope is gonna work, which will take us from, um, from, um, 
Ambergate to Chinley <laughs> on an express uh, service with a Class 45 um, in BR Blue. Now, I do understand these would have run on the route, but they wouldn't have been BR Blue. They would have been in um, green livery. So the traction is slightly wrong. Um, obviously, this was released as predominantly a steam route, but I'm not overly keen on driving steam stuff. I mean, it's yeah, I, I, I don't know. It just doesn't doesn't do it for me. I'd, I'd rather drive diesels. And I think you get a better look at the route as well and the scenery is a bit nicer rather than having to drive the whole thing in kind of external camera. So, peak on the peak. We are in. Uh, game audio is on. Let me know if you want it up or down, guys. Might be a little bit too loud there. We can turn that down a little bit if we need to. Hey, Pig and Bob. Hello, how are we doing? Uh, Laserjet, Dad Rao, some advice. Don't overpeak the class 45. I see what you did there. See what you did there. Okay. Uh, no, that didn't do what I wanted it to do. We'll put the AWS in, although the route doesn't have it. Just good practice to do that. Uh, and there should be a change end switch somewhere, I believe, for the AWS. Um... Yeah, we won't worry about it too much because the route isn't fitting with AWS anyway. It's a bit early in, in time for AWS. Right, let's get the brakes charged up. And we'll hold that on the locomotive brake. So we are stopping at um, Matlock, Millersdale, and then Chinley. So an express service. Should be a run um, of around about an hour, just under an hour. Uh, and that's what we'll be doing today. We'll quickly jump into the outside view. There she is, the Class 45 peak. Like I say, the traction is is wrong. Peaks would have run on this, but um, in green livery and not blue. So uh, we're using a bit of a bit of modeler's license. Rule number one: my game, my way. <laughs> That's got to be done, isn't it? So I've got to say, I mean, I did do a review a review video on the route, and I think not having diesel traction on here was a little bit of an own goal by Dovetail. Obviously, they wanted to create a steam route. That's absolutely fine. Um, personally, you've kind of got. You know, you're kind of in that that era, sort of 1960s, where you can, you can start running a bit of diesel stuff. So it would have been nice to have some diesel scenarios uh, in there as standard. But never mind, we have the um, Creators Club stuff. We've got the um, scenario planner, so we can have a play um, and get things working the way we want them to. Okay, let's put a headlight on as well. That's a good idea. Uh, we are off to Matlock in 6.2 miles, and our signal is in the off position. Okay, so let's give it a little bit of power. Uh, why are the amps not coming up? What have I done? I know I've still got the straight air brake on. I have a general fault light. Okay, this didn't happen earlier. Uh, let's put some brakes back on. Why have I got a general fault light? Okay, that's not supposed to happen. Um... Safety system's isolated. No, we still have a general fault light. Okay. I have no idea what's going on here. We may have to restart and have another go. Come on! Right, brake release. Brakes released. Keys on. Oh, okay. I think we're in business. I don't know what I've done, but I think, I th I think it's working. Uh, DET, AWS is broken on this train. You need to turn it off. Okay. We are moving. It is working. And off we go. 25 mile an hour leaving Ambergate. Uh, Brian, press DSD button, reset throttle. We are going. Yes, yeah, so as we go along, guys, I'm interested to um, to hear your thoughts on the route. Um, for me personally, like I said, my, my only complaint on this route really is that we didn't have diesel traction as standard. Um, but I can understand why they've done it. I, I completely get that. It just would have been 
it would have been really great to have some diesel era services. Hey, William Trainboy, finally a member for your channel. Thank you very much, bud. That's very kind of you. Right, let's get this thing going. It's a train, it's a locomotive I don't drive often enough, actually, is the, uh, the peak. It's a really, really, really nice. Uh, like I say, guys, let me know if you want the game audio up or down. We can do that either either way, not a problem. Beautiful, beautiful. CEO of the Class 700, Dadra, what is your advice on applying for a train driver? Because when I'm older, I want to apply for Covia Temesit Railway Driver. Uh, lots of videos on the channel regarding that, bud, so go and check some of those out. Um, my, my advice is stay in school, stay in college, get some A-levels behind you, get a degree, get whatever, get the best education you can at school, and then join the railway as either platform staff or a conductor or something like that, and then apply internally for trainee driver's roles. That That's probably the best way into it. But my, my top piece of advice is don't rush into it. If you want to be a train driver, that's great. Stay in school for as long as you can, get some A-levels behind you, get a decent education. In 20 years time, ATO might have taken over, there might be no train driver jobs. You know. I don't think that's going to happen, but that is a possibility. If you've got A-levels, you've got good qualification behind you, you're always going to have a fallback. So, um, yeah, that's that's my advice. Uh, Brian, don't have Spirit of Steam, but this route looks nice, so I think I'll get it to try Steam and also Scenario Planner. Yeah, I, I've not delved too deeply into the Scenario Planner, I must be completely honest with you. This is all I've really done in Scenario Planner is kind of change trains around and that sort of thing. Um, so it's, it's not that in depth, I don't believe, the scenario planner, but it does allow you to do a few few little bits and bobs on there, which is quite nice. Um, Spirit of Steam, I've only streamed that once or twice, I've only played it once or twice. Again, it's the whole. With driving steam engines, oh crikey, look, I'm speeding. Uh, with driving steam engines, I just find you don't get that view out the front of the train, you're constantly you know, running it in external camera, you don't kind of get, I don't think you get the immersion on the simulator driving steam engines. I mean, may, maybe I'm completely wrong, I'd be interested to, you know, hear what you guys have got to say on that, but but for me, when you're driving steam on the computer, even if you've got your head out the window, you can't see everything, it's just a little bit. Hey, T 9 how we doing, how we doing? Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, okay, look, look, you win. <laughs> Speeding of that magnitude definitely deserves tea and biscuits for the manager. Yeah, that. Okay, there's a 55 coming up as well. So I haven't really done my homework, which I know is really bad. So what, if anything, of this route is still there in real life? Obviously, I know Peak Forest is still there and the quarries are still there. The line up to Buxton, I believe, is still there. But most of this is like single track branch line territory now, isn't it, I believe? Um, yeah. TET, one minute of silence for Transpennine Express. Sorry, Transpennine. And we say bye bye. That's, that's, that's my no <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, my nod to Transpennine. Um, DET, I find it difficult to drive Steam. I don't find it fun to watch or play either. Uh, Wayne Smith, yeah, I'm about 80% of the way through editing a train driver rules video, so I kind of got distracted with some of the Germany stuff that I've been doing. If you haven't checked those videos out, go and check the Germany vlogs out. Um, vlog number one in, in Hamburg, a miniature wonderland. Vlog number two in Wuppertal. Dr vlog number three in Dusseldorf, coming soon. Channel members will get early access, of course. Uh, a lot of it is shut. It terminates at Matlock, says DET. Sandbrooks, the line from Amagate to Matlock and from Buxton to Manchester still exists. Ben, Transpennine Express were absolutely useless at running a reliable service. Uh, Airbus AV geek, dead round dying of diesel poisoning. Yeah, I. Uh, I would imagine that these probably weren't a very healthy environment for the driver to be in. Um, I drive class 73s and they can be a bit diesel-y at times. 
Um, obviously, we try and drive them on electric where you can, but when you're running them on the diesel, they can be a bit um, a bit smelly and headache-inducing in the cab, shall we say. Right, 2.1 miles out of Matlock. Shall we play the first round of our game? Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. I really like, I mentioned it before, I really like the football pitch asset. I think, I don't think I've seen that in any other routes. I think that's a new asset uh, exclusive to this route. The platforms are very busy as well with sort of, and all the, um, all the punters, for want of a better word, seem to be in period dress, which is quite nice. Hey, Wookiee 390 going to see the Midland Pullman tomorrow. Whereabouts are you going to see that, bud? Where is that coming through? Okay, I've shot off power. We've still got 1.5 miles to Matlock. Let's put a little bit more power in, so we are losing quite a lot of speed. Okay, third number on my screen is... Uh, do, 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 do. Wayne Smith with number 14. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. So guys, if you haven't seen this before, I'm going to give you box number 14. 10 seconds please for the Locomotive Livery and Location. That's a pretty good start. Got any ideas what that could be? Let me know in the comment section. Always interested to hear your thoughts. Hey, French sim flight. Bonjour, bonjour. Comment ça va? That, that is the limit of my French, by the way. That, that is literally it. J'adore le passion rouge. A little bit. Yeah, that, that means I love goldfish. Yeah, I know. I don't know when I'm ever going to need that. Um, okay. <laughs> Rather than speaking French, we should probably think about putting some brakes in and stopping at Matlock. Otherwise, it's going to be... Team biscuits with the manager straight away. Uh, we're on a little bit of an uphill gradient, so yeah. No, we, we, we're alright, we'll stop. We'll stop in time. What are we reckoning, guys? TR9's gone for a 47. Um, Laserjet says easier, class 47. Uh, Dark Nova says a 66. Ben Clayton says 56. Pig and Bob 47. DET's gone for a 65. Matthew Rice... What's a 65? Um, Matthew Rice has gone for a 57. DET says, I mean 56. Locomotion... Locomotion Lotion says that's a 56. Got 56s, 47s. Concentrating. The concentration is real as we come into Matlock. I did schedule some other services in the scenario editor, so hopefully we are going to pass um, something at some point. Oh, you could almost mistake me for being a real-life train driver with a stop like that, couldn't you? I'm, I'm going to take that. I'm, I'm going to take that and I'm going to run with it. So here we are, Matlock. Yeah, so I, I really do like the style on the stations. And I was saying about all the, the AI peeps. What do you call them? AI peeps? The Sims? All in sort of period dress, which is really quite nice. Strong tea. All problems solved by a cuppa. I couldn't agree more. No tea, no train. So I did ask... <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> um. So if you saw my first video on this where I drove the 101, um, I pointed out this signal here on the, the the bridge and I said I didn't know what it was for someone commented in one of my videos this is basically the equivalent of an off indicator so 
the guard on the train, obviously you can't see the signal down the front because of the curvature of the platform. The guard on the train can look up at this and the guard on the train knows the signal is in the off position. Just, it's the equivalent of like an off indicator these days, which is, uh, is quite good. Uh, Jack HST Production says his favourite station is um, Paris Garden Nord and he likes Eurostar 373s. Hey, the French is all coming back to me. I can't do French. I can do. I can do a little bit of Portuguese. Sort of, maybe. Right, we're off to Millersdale. Let's get going. 60 miles an hour. Sam Brooks, it's the guard's fault, not yours. Absolutely, Sam. Absolutely. Raygun, hey Richard, if you want a good look around a station down the 1752 Manchester to London, you get about 25 minutes to explore Millersdale. Okay. That's a lot of time in stream though, isn't it? 25 minutes just sitting at a station. I'd, I'd probably get a little bit bored if I'm being completely honest with you. The Class 800 driver. Hello, Jevra. What's your opinion on the Class 800 slash 802 as I drive them for GWR? Do you know what? I've never been on one. I've, I've been on the Hitachi 395, the Southeastern High Speed, but I've never been on the GWR um, IETs yet. Fr from the outside, they look quite nice, but I've heard horrible things about the seats. Apparently, they're very, very uncomfortable. Um, I have got to do some route learning from Acton to West Drayton for the Colnebrook branch, and I've got a GWR cab pass, so I'm, I'm quite tempted to do, like, couple of trips Paddington to Reading on an IET because obviously I need to see the fast lines as part of my route learning so uh, that could happen that could happen right we are motoring we are motoring uh, Dark Nova Deborah have you ever driven a train into Scarborough um, do you know what I haven't I don't think I've even been to Scarborough Costa del Scarborough. Uh, they're not that bad. Oh, okay, Sam. Locomotion Ocean. Millersdale is beyond the end of the existing line. That's on the cycle track as far as the junction to Tunstead where the Midland comes back into Buxton. I sign that. Brilliant. The panels on the walls keep breaking. Uh, GJ Barnard, indeed, IETs look good, but sitting on a cardboard box. Yeah, I've, I've not sort of come across many people that have got a nice thing to say about the seats on those. Raygun, personally, commuting on IETs, I don't mind them. Yes, the seats are hard, but considering I'm only, I'm only on them for 30 minutes, I don't really care. Ah, that's fair enough. If you're doing like a, you know, Penzance to Paddington or something, though, on them, I can imagine that gets a bit. Um, bit tedious. DET, when will I be route learning the North Downs line? No idea yet. Um, current route learning for me is Acton Main Line to Colnebrook um, and Acton Main Line to West Ryslip via Greenford. They're the kind of um, two things on my uh, on my to learn list at the moment. It is a really nice looking route, this. I am impressed with it. I am impressed with it. Uh, CEO of the Class 700, Dad Rao, when I get out of year 11, I'm going to do six form, then do an apprenticeship. What do you think of that? Yeah, no, six form's definitely a good shout. I, I, I would go for that. Okie dokie, right, here we go. Adverse signals. So, we've got to proceed, but the distance signal is, on the off, is in the on position. So, basically, that if we were on colour light signals, I'd be treating that signal that we've just gone past as a one yellow. So I'm going to assume that the next stop signal is at danger. But because we are in what's known as absolute block signalling, because the distance signal was in the on position, I've got to assume that every single stop signal within this signal section is also displaying a danger aspect. I will do a full train driver rules video on absolute block signalling eventually. <laughs> No promises. Okay. 
distance off, mains off, so we can treat that as a green. Do you even train, bro? How are we doing, bud? You still coming Sunday? What is your favourite train to world brew? I'm not sure. I, I, I like a lot of the English ones, but for me personally, because I drive trains in England, I, I kind of find train simming on some of the English routes. I, I don't do a great deal of it in my spare time, if, I, if I'm being 100% honest. What I do do in my spare time is I tend to do a lot of the German stuff because that's different to the day job, if that makes sense. So I quite like learning about the German signalling and the PZB and the LZB safety systems and bits and bobs like that. I'm, I'm sort of getting there with them. I can sort of drive PZB without having too many incidents. Um, yeah, had, had a great experience in, obviously we went out to Germany, as I've mentioned a few times uh, a couple of weeks ago, check the vlogs. Um, and Alex, who's a German ICE driver, has been in a few of my streams. We met him out there. Um, one of the great things on the German trains is that you can see 45 coming up. Um, on a lot of the trains, you can see out the front, a bit like you can on sort of Croydon trams and stuff like that. Hey, I have a train! Um, yeah, all you've got on sort of the driver's cab is a blind. Um, so you can see directly out the front. So we were on a service going from Wuppertal down to Dusseldorf on this really sort of weird uh, intercar, I think they're called, like DMU service, um, looking out the front of the train. And I've got a German train driver next to me explaining all the signals and everything. And it's just fantastic it's just such a great way to learn uh, Brian can you push to learn more routes or is it the company that needs X Y into yeah pretty much Brian it's um, I mean with passenger companies it, it sort of works that if you're based at a certain depot you're gonna sign certain routes so you know if you're based at Reading you'll probably do, do I don't know Paddington, Digcot, North Downs um, Basingstoke, Oxford, that that kind of be your, your route card. Um, and passenger work tends to work like that, so each depot has its own area that it covers. On freight work, depending on who you work for, you'll cover, you know, it, it might be different. You might have 50 drivers that all do different work, that all sign different places. Um, but normally, normally what you learn is going to be mandated by what the company needs you to do. The company are not going to release you for route learning on a route that, you know, you're, you're never going to drive. And you need to go over your routes every so often as well to maintain that route knowledge. Um, so yeah, it's, norm it's normally going to be up to the company. I mean, you can always ask if there's a particular route you want to do and it's local to your depot and you've got work over it. You can always sort of say, oh, you know, I'd really like to learn that. Um, and if it's going to be advantageous to the company, you know, they, they might let you do it. But generally speaking, it's gonna, the, the routes and traction you do are going to be based on the depots that you're, you're based at. Duckington, do you recommend this route or should I wait for the Midland Mainline update? Depends what you want from a route. I I like the Midland Mainline. Um, you know, I know there's been a few complaints about it. I personally like it. And I also like this route. It, it depends on what you want from the route, to be fair. Um, one of the things that's really, really nice on this route... Oh, there's a steamer. We do have AI traffic that's working. Um... One of the things that's really, really nice on this route that I like is the way it sways around and the way it bounces. And that kind of old worldly feel with the semaphore signals, the telegraph poles next to the track. This is, I think this route's really atmospheric. Um, but if you kind of want something modern, current era, safety systems, colour light signals, that sort of thing, then, then go for the middle of main line. But I, yeah, I, I think there's, there's pros and cons to both, definitely. I think generally this, this is just a really, really pretty route. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Shall we do locomotive livery location again? Hey Jason, how are we doing, Buck? Great to have you here. Uh, DET, I was at Hastings. Sam, don't tell him that. No, Jason, we haven't had tea and biscuits. The stream's been going really, really well. <laughs> you know I'm lying. I mean, look at that. It's... it's Credit where credit's due. I mean, I, I can be quite critical, as you know. I, I don't tend to fanboy too much. But... 
Yeah, credit where it's due. I can't get these camera controls to work. There we go. That's a half nice shot. It's as bad as my drone flying. There's a distance signal in the on position there. Okay. And the next signal's in like 600 yards. Overcooking the brakes there. Yeah, I just saw the distance signal in the on position, so we need to treat that as one yellow. But we're on quite a steep gradient, and I've completely overcooked the brakes. Right, so we are going with... Uh, Wookie 390, box number 15. On locomotive location livery. However, we will just deal with this... Red signal first. Hopefully the AI traffic that I've put in hasn't somehow broke the game. There is a freight train in front of us. This is where the stream goes terribly wrong. I hope it hasn't come to a stand or something like that. This is where this is where I've buggered up all the AI traffic. Okay, we'll have a look at that in a minute. This is what you get for not doing your homework and not testing things first, guys. <laughs> right. Okay, what did we say? We're going with Wookie 390, box number 15. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Okay, guys, going to give you box number 15. 10 seconds for that locomotive livery. And if you can, the location as well. Here we go. What are your thoughts? Let me know. Much to go on there. Do let me know what you're thinking. Always interested to hear what you're thinking, guys. So do let me know. Okie dokie. Right, this is not looking too promising. You are kind of stopped there. I have no idea what time you're scheduled to depart. Uh, no, you're not stopped on a signal. Okay. Gives us a chance to look at the... This is the Fowler, I believe, isn't it? This is the Fowler 4F, this one? Um, yeah, we can't click on the train and get details of, of what the train is, which is quite irritating, actually. I wonder if we can jump on that train and move it ourselves give it, give it a helping hand hmm we will give it we will give it a couple of minutes because it might be a 740 departure if it doesn't leave by 740 what we'll do is we'll get off this train walk up to that one and then we'll drive that one and there's, there's someone else can take the peak Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, what are we reckoning? Uh, East Coastway Rail Videos has gone 47. Um, Brian has gone GWR 47. GJ Barnard has gone Castle Carey Class 47. Pep EMU fan is saying a 47. Brian's gone with Caledonian Sleeper. Interesting, Brian. Low commotion lotion is definitely a 56. Interesting. Um, Pig and Bob sticking with 56081 at Red Hill on locomotive location delivery. Uh, Sam Brooks, if you jump in the cab of that train, it might say when it's scheduled to depart. Let's... Okay, guys, I am just going to add... This is a custom-made scenario that I put together. So, the fact that the train in front is stuck is not a route issue or a bug. It is a 
idiot who created the scenario, aka me, issue. Do, 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 do. You alright, drive? Uh, you cannot drive service. You do not have permission to drive this train. Oh, okay. This is where it all goes horribly wrong. But. Right, so we're at Bakewell. Okay, we, we do have a workaround for this. Let's just wait and see if this departs anytime soon. Oh, we've added a route map as well. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of cheating. Uh, this is this is why I don't play with with scenario planners. Okay, what we're going to do is um, we are going to go back to the home screen. Just so we just so we can carry on with the scenario. Loading, loading. Just talk amongst yourselves, boys and girls. Um, right, Creators Club. Scenario planner. That one there. Uh peak. Um Ah, seven fifty five that one was due to go. Okie dokie. What we what we will do is we will create a new scenario. We call it peak two. Confirm. Uh, we're gonna start at, press A to begin designing your scenario. Okay, there we go. We'll start at Bakewell. And we're going from, no, we want the other, duh, 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 duh. Bakewell platform two, confirm start mark. And we're going from Ambergate to Chinley. Confirm path, select destination. Chinley Platform 2, confirm destination. Uh, we might as well have all those stations then. Confirm instruction, confirm service. Uh, we're going to do it in the peak. Do, 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 do. This, is, this is on the fly editing, guys. Uh, 45, 1. Oh, yeah, it's not going to let me have that because the... Um, let's take out Peak Forest. Du -du 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 -du. Train's too long. Um, I've lost it. I've lost it. I've lost it. There it is. What is it? St oh, it's because I'm starting at Bakewell. That's. Okay, it'll have to be a four car. We'll go with that. Um, try again. Right, hopefully this should work. <laughs> because the starting location is too short, yeah. Uh, no, Brian, I've got nothing installed that I can't show at the moment, I'm afraid. There's, there's nothing interesting in there at all. So we did... A have I, have I... Oh, I'm in the wrong train now. I'm in a 47 and not a... Ladies and gentlemen, there's been a change of traction. Inadvertently, we have a change of traction. I do apologise. <laughs> right. <coughs> and the driver's dying. Okay. It doesn't matter. We're going. We're, we're going with it. We're taking the 47 for a spin. I do like the 47 as well. It's quite a nice drive on here. Okay, right. Where are we off to? We are back in business. We are off to Millersdale. Peak Forest, Chapel, whatever that says, Enlifrith and Chinley. Ah, so we've got off the express and we've got on a stopping service. 
Um, I don't think 47s would ever have run on this fruit in passenger service. So this is now completely unrealistic. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Got completely the wrong traction and everything. What can I say? It's BR Blue. Uh, yeah, Tushka's got the right idea. It's the 45 with the hood cut off. Yeah, we've, we've had a complete change of heart, Jason. We've gone from express to local. This is variation. It's on-the-fly editing. It's what you call making it work. Uh, the Class 800 driver. No, do you know what? I don't sign 47, but I'd absolutely love to sign the 47. Uh, yeah, Pepe EMU fan. The 45 had a failure, so the 47 acted as a replacement. Do you know what? Rule one. My game, my way. Modeler's license, artistic license, call it what you like. It's not realistic. I know it's not realistic, but it doesn't matter. We're having fun. Uh, Wookie 390, what was the first train you ever drove? First train I ever drove was a class 465 in Slade Green Depot. Well, that's the first one I drove officially. <laughs> and I'm saying no more. Absolutely saying no more. Right, semaphore signal is off. You've got a mixture of upper quadrant and lower quadrant on here as well, which is um, which is quite nice. Anyone going out this week to catch the three one freeze? This is the last week of service. They are out of service on um, Saturday. Saturday next week is the last day of service on the three one freeze. Is anyone heading out to see those? Um, Tusha, we did have that conversation a little bit earlier on, so I think you can still go Ambergate to Buckster. I think that, that bit is still there. Uh, Raygun, my experience of driving a 37. I've never driven a 37 Raygun. I've route conducted a fair few 37s, but um, I say a fair few. A couple, um, but I've never actually had the pleasure of driving a, 40, uh, a 37. Okay, guys, so we've got 96 of you lovely people who are now watching a stream which isn't as advertised. <laughs> but never mind. If you haven't already, guys, please do hit the like button. Consider subscribing. Uh, it's always very much appreciated. Uh, Matthew Rice, it's nice. There is a lot of nice scenery in the background, unlike most other routes. Yeah, that, that's one of the things I commented on when I done the um, the 101 video on this. Is just how deep the scenery seems to go. It's the the draws that's on the scenery seems to be really well. So sort of as we're looking off in the distance, you're completely immersed in the route, which is really really nice. It's, I was just about to say, one of the things on train sim is when you go through bridges, you don't get the, the, the cab light doesn't dim, but it just did there, so I can't really be claiming that. Yeah, it's a good looking route, it is a good looking route. I uh, got you. Sorry, Locomo Locomotion Lotion says Ambergate to Matlock, then Mo Matlock to Rowsley on the preserved railway. Uh, we're now on the missing portion of the line as far as Tunstead. Oh, you can hear me owing. Check my Twitter feed for pictures. Of oh no, that's that's the older cat. We had four kittens, we only have two left. Well, we will only have two left as of Sunday, both of which are staying with us. Uh, it is a really, really good looking route, isn't it? I think it is, anyway. Mimi! She won't let me pick her up and show you. She's fussy. No. 
<laughs> Typical cat. They always say, don't they? Cats have slaves, dogs have masters. What do you want? That's it, you lay there. She probably wants feeding. <laughs> Uh, Nicholas Glanville, GBRF 73 is at Swanish Diesel Garda this weekend. Yeah, I was supposed to be at Swanish Diesel Garda this weekend. Um, yeah, I won't go into too much detail, but unfortunately I'm not at Swanish Diesel Garda. I'm here uh, driving 47s. Greetings from Norway. Greetings from the UK, George. Is that Georgian? How's that pronounced, bud? Uh, we've got no instrument lights on as well. We probably need to try and sort that out in a minute. Oh, Tusha, well, by the way, greetings from India. Greetings from the UK. We have a truly international stream tonight. It's, yeah. So has anyone in the chat got this route or, or plan on getting it? Would anyone in the chat like to see me, not on this stream, uh, would like to see me do some of the Steam stuff on here um, in a future stream? We won't do that tonight because I am. Um, we're going to wrap this up once we get up to Chinley. Um, but yeah, it, we, we can do some Steam stuff in a future stream if anyone wants to see that. Oh, Jurgen, like the German name. Okay, Jurgen. Blob, hi Richard, how many train journeys would you drive per day as a passenger driver? Uh, it entirely depends on how long the route is. So I know like some of the southeastern drivers that do Orpington to Victoria, you might do six, seven, eight trips in a day. Um, you know, like Hast I was on Hastings Charing Cross, and the maximum you could do in a day was like two, because it would be over your driving hours. So it does depend on the route. But if you're doing like, um, for example, I mean, I'm talking southeast here because I only really know the southeast region. But if you're talking sort of Bromley North to Grove Park on the Grove Park poppers, you know, you might do sort of 10, 15, 20 of those in a shift because they're so short. So it really does just depend on the length of the route. There's kind of, you can do as much driving as, as the shift allows. So yeah, it, 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 if it's a long route, it could be one. If it's a short route, you could be doing 5, 10, 15. If you're on the, the is it the Stourbridge Town Shuttle? I imagine they do quite a, quite a few trips in a day. Right, 0.8 miles to Millersdale, 30 coming up. Let's see if we can get a decent stop. Hey, we got a banner repeater there as well, which is nice. Uh, looking at the gradient there, I'm just going to let that roll. By the time the brakes release, hopefully we're going to be coming down ni nicely for the 30. Uh, LazerJet is currently driving it. Pig and Bob has it. Signals are off to the left there. Um, well, the higher signals are off, which tells us we're staying on the main route. If we have the signals on the right, we'd be going on the diverging route, the lower signals. And we are approaching Millersdale. Uh, Jason says between four to eight at Greater Anglia for Ilford, unless you get the Manning Tree to Harry's Town branch, in which case you get three of those six journeys plus a few journeys around that. Yes, yeah, so it will just very much depend on the type of work at your depot uh, and the length of routes. Let's try not to overshoot this platform. Let's try not to stop short as well. No stop car marks. <laughs> I believe this is one route that Dovetail can get away with not having stop car marks. It's one of the things I pick up on a lot of the routes is, is a lot of the stations are missing stop car marks. But I think they can actually get away with it on this route. That'll do. Oh, I've put it in as a goods train, haven't I? Not a passenger. That's why it doesn't want me to open the doors. Because I've set the scenario up wrong. Okay. Never mind. We'll pretend. Let's go. Peak Forest. Platform 2.
Uh, Airbus AV Geek, what's the best loco you have seen while driving? The only special thing I've seen was probably a Class 69. Yeah, you pass a, f a fair few things when you're out and about driving. It's always nice when you pass steam engines and that sort of thing and, and charters um, and bits and bobs. Saw a DCR Class 60 today, which is always very nice to see. We don't see them too often down in, down my neck of the woods, although they are becoming more common um, down in the southeast with DCR running a service to the Isle of Grain. Um, so they're always quite nice to see. But yeah, sort of loco-wise, we're not really not really spoilt down this neck of the woods, down this end of the country. Right, we're off to Peak Forest in 3.4 miles. Let's get the throttle in. Good for 50 mile an hour. Hey George, I'm good, how are you? Locomotion lotion, yeah, the signals are wrong, I think. Uh, ben Ballis, the whole line from Bakewell is now a walking route and the tunnels are lit. Highly recommend, you can still see soot on the walls. Oh, wow. That sound, sounds like a holiday destination. I was hoping Mumra was in the room then, but she's not, she didn't hear me. <laughs> yeah, dear passenger, sorry to announce this is now a parcel service. Uh, Laser Jet wants to look in the Discord server. Yeah, no worries, bud. Let's press that button there. Hopefully, this will work. Well, hey! Oh, look, Fat Frank's posting from the Swanish Diesel Gala down there at Corfe Castle. Fantastic. And we've got a nice 47 there by train spotting Devon and UK. If you want to join our Discord server, you can do, guys. There's an invitation link in the description below. And if you want to post any pictures, we're in the live stream pictures page. I'll come back to the game because you are missing. What looks absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so signals on the right. We got these. Are, these are the higher signals. So we're taking the main line. Signals on the left, which are slightly lower down, would be the diverging route to the left. Uh, we're 35 across here, which we are doing. So that's the route up to Buxton. Uh, which is also modelled on here. We are now on the branch up towards Peak Forest. Ah, oh, George, yeah, sorry to hear that, bud. My my top tip, don't feel downhearted by that as well. You know that there are so many applicants for so few jobs with driver's jobs. The competition is really, really um, fierce. You've done well to get to the interview stage. Um, my, my top advice for you is get on the railway in another capacity if you can. Get on as a conductor, um, platform staff, uh, anything like that with a train operating company with Northern Rail in any, any other role, shunter driver, shunter, um, and then apply internally as a driver. So by working working for the company in an internal role gives you a chance to build up a bit of a, of a rapport with the manager and prove yourself, prove that you're a reliable member of staff and that sort of thing. Um, you get, yeah, like I say, you'll get a bit of a relationship going with the management and stuff. Um, and then you're, you're much more likely to be successful when you apply for a job. Companies do like recruiting from within. You know, there's more, if they've had someone that's been employed with them for three or four years and they've got a good track record, no pun intended, um, you know, they're, they're going to feel more comfortable giving that person a job than giving it to someone, you know, who's an unknown, who's off the street. So, although they do take people off the street, by far the, the most successful route, in my experience, in my opinion, is definitely to, to join the railway and uh, apply as an internal candidate. So we are coming up on Peak Forest. Again guys, this is a scenario that I've literally just chucked together. So there's no AI traffic on the route or anything else going on, nothing in the sidings, purely because I have just chucked this together with this train only just to play the route uh, with a diesel. So. Yeah, I, I should imagine when you're playing some of the scenarios and bits and bobs that this is all um, packed out with traffic. This is one heck of a gradient as well.
Good evening from Derbyshire. Good evening from sunny St. Leonard's. Dadro, your brakes are on. Ah, oh, they are actually, aren't they? Thank you. <laughs> That's why we're not going too fast. Uh, Airbus, AV Geek, Dadro, will you ever sign 670? I, I very much doubt I'll ever get on a 67, to be honest with you. Never say never. Um, as, as work moves around, locomotives move around as necessary. And, you know, it could be that one day I do get on it. But, yeah, I, I don't think it's, it's something that's going to happen in the foreseeable future. Locomotion, lotion, those sidings shouldn't be there. Do you think they've, they've, got, they've got a bit of rule one going on here? Uh, we've got a nice lower quadrant signal there as well. Let's get a little bit of breaking for Peak Forest. Although we are now a parcels train with passenger coaches. Must be the paper train. Locomotion Ocean, we haul 2,400 tonnes up there at 3 miles an hour over a way bridge all the way up. Wow. Is that predominantly using 66s, bud? I've got to get up to Peak Forest at some point and just go and have, just, just literally go up there and be nosy. Gradient's really killing the speed on this. Yeah, just go up there and be nosy. I've never, I've never, never been to the area. Since so many pictures from up there, so much freight traffic around, I really do need to go up that way. Roy Michael Taylor, I'd love to read your autobiography one day. Ah, it wouldn't be that exciting, trust me. Hey, Valentino Collins, how are we doing? Right, we are approaching Peak Forest. Yeah, drop me a DM or something, but we'd definitely sort that out. That'd be really cool. I'd, uh, I'd appreciate that. Come on, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. I've not actually driven this section of the line yet. Um, when I'd done the stream before, I drove down from Buxton side. So, so this section here up to... to um, Chinley, I've not driven this bit, so this is purely. In oh, look at oh dear. It's got to be one of those. Right, let's go. We're off to Chapel N Left. Frith Central. Yeah, we're off to that place on the screen there, whatever that says. Uh, hi from Sweden, what loco are you driving now? So, we should have been in a class 45 peak, but we are in a class 47 um, due to operational, operational difficulties, shall we say. Due to operational difficulties, we have changed for a type of traction that would probably never have been seen on this route. Well, I suppose on this section of it, it's quite possible you would have had 47s. Right, we are... Should we have another round of locomotive location delivery, guys? Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. You can shut off from here. Okay. Yeah, look at that. 1.1% gradient downhill. That's, that is pretty steep. All the way to Chinley. Okay, let's see if we can do it. Let's see if it works. If it's only 50, we're definitely going to need to get some brakes in in, the, in a moment. Uh, 
Dark Nova, Dad, have you tried the German route with a class 3759? It takes a while, but you can get some amazing screenshots. Uh, which German route in particular, bud? Which one are we on about there? Testing my route knowledge. <laughs> This is a fairly long old tunnel, this one. Okay, while we're in the tunnel then, locomotive location livery. Um, Pig and Bob, you've got it, number 11. Let's play locomotive livery location. Okay, so we've got 99 of you lovely people watching. If you haven't seen this before, I'm going to give you box number 11. 10 seconds to give me the locomotive livery and location. <laughs> Feels like we're doing bingo, we're going for a line there. Let me know in the chat what you're reckoning that might be. Um, cab bet wouldn't be too bad with some diesel layers like the Class 101. Yeah, no, I, I said that at the beginning of the stream and I said that when I I done the 101 um, on here. Um, when I done my first video on here, yeah. I, I definitely feel Personally, I, I know they wanted to go for Steam Era, and I get that um, to expand their Steam collection. But I, I think having the 101 and having the peak on here as as base services would have, you know, I, I think I think they missed an opportunity. DT, that's Red Hill. Never mind. Roy Michael Taylor, I drive Class 44 on a Heritage Railway. They are fantastic to drive. Um, Tusha says class 56 Sam Brooks ooh is that a 700 uh, it's not the one we're looking for <laughs> oh excuse me I'm just dying um, Pig and Bob 56081 at Red Hill still for me uh, LW Rail BR Blue 56 at Eastleigh Sandbrook's tempting class 700 at Redhill. This could get messy. Right, 0 0.8 miles to Chapel Enlif Frith Central. Chapel Enlif Frith. Is that, is that, am I saying that right? Quite a steep gradient, so let's get the brakes in nice and early for that. Got a funny feeling it's going to push me all the way down. Uh, Locomotion Lotion. That's the London Northwestern Railway from Buxton going over the top. Oh, Dark Nova, Cos of Wasburg. Yeah, I've, I've got that route. I've done it with the um, the ICE. It's a nice route. It's a nice route. The future GBRF driver, 56303 at Redhill. Let's see if we can get this stop any better. Just remembering the brakes on this seem to be taking absolutely ages to come off. Which is fine. Yeah, this... Oh, we got a water, water column at the end of the platform there, which is nice. Come on, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. And we got the barra crossing at the end of the platform there as well, which is good. Stop at location Chinley in 1.5 miles, where this stream and train will terminate. That's not a peak, it's a 47. <laughs> Due to operational difficulties. Yes, yeah, so one of the things I really like about this, just kind of panning round... The world just seems to go on. It's like it, it doesn't just have that kind of. I, I don't know. We just. It's just like we're we're immersed within it. It's really really nice. Okay, let's get to Chinley. Hey, British Ace, how are we doing? Have I taken my brakes off this time? I have. We are going. We are going. Oh, Jason is eating a chip butty. Jason, with your chip butty. 
I'll take your chip, buddy, and I'll raise you burger and cheesy chips from the kebab shop. It's Friday night. It's Friday night. Do, 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 do. No, we're not. We're not. We're not singing. I played the, the, the free one free stream I done the other day. I played the Benny Hill theme tune uh, in that on my soundboard, and uh, I got a copyright strike for that. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get copyright strike for my singing. There are cats behind me. There is cat activity behind me. Okie dokie dokie. Lots of signals coming in here. Okay, I'm not quite understanding how I'm supposed to be reading that. Wrong lyrics. Ah, it's my lyrics. Hey, Chinook. Morning. How are we doing? Hey, Joe. That's absolutely fantastic, bud. Great to hear it. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The game's FPS is dead. Uh, I am still getting a solid 60 at the moment. Uh, I've got mine capped out at 60, but... Yeah, the, this route does seem to be quite well optimised, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, I've, I don't think I've had any stuttering or anything on it at all. It does seem pretty, pretty good. Locomotion, lo locomotion lotion. That is a tongue twister. Uh, left to Manchester, right to Sheffield. So we're going through a set of points. Un general rule of thumb is unmarked points and crossovers. If points and crossovers don't have a speedboard on them, um, they should always be treated as 15 miles an hour. I I am definitely not calling anyone out for a song challenge. That's not happening. <laughs> Chinley in 0.9 miles. We are getting there. We are getting there. Yeah, do, bud. No worries. Uh, yeah, no, you're probably right, Sam. And again, I, I, I just emphasise it again. The reason there's no AI is because I've just created this scenario due to operational issues. Um, that's why we have no AI. I don't think I've played any of the official... It, not just on stream, but actually in my own time. I don't think I've played any of the official scenarios or timetable routes yet. I probably should do that. This is such a lovely route, and it just seems a shame not to take advantage of it from the cab of a, a diesel loco. And, you know, it's a catchy title, isn't it? Peak on the Peak, although we're driving a 47. JG Photography, good evening Richard, just got back from a holiday to Weymouth, so that means back to work next week. Ah, oh, sorry to hear that bud. Sorry to hear that you're going back to work that is, hope you had a good holiday. CEO of the Class 700. Just sold my car, do we buy any car? Dear, oh dear. Right, um, <laughs> we got Pat a 900 yards to go. Let's have one more round of locomotive location livery. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Let's have one more go at this. And into the off position. Chinley coming up. Chinley is just coming up ahead of us. And what we do, guys, is we go with the third number on my screen, which in this case is Wayne Smith with number 12. 
We're pulling to Chinley. I'll give you number 12 and then we will do a reveal. Yeah, cab bet, exactly. Diesel is not off. It's the 60s. It's logical. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree with you. Hey, Benjamin Elms. Welcome to Dad Round. New subscriber. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not sure what's going on with the stream and stuff today, guys. Some of my buttons on my stream deck have been delayed and some of the little effects on the screen don't seem to be working as they should be. So I'm, I'm not sure if there's something going on with my internet connection or something going on with the YouTube server or... Or something going on with my computer. I don't know. It's all... It's all, it's all sort of working. Right, how are we doing? 80 yards to go. Are we going to get a half decent stop here? Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, it's on the platform. It's not going to let me open the doors anyway because it thinks we're a freight train. <laughs> I bet we get a terrible score. Uh, what are we getting medal-wise? What are we getting? What are we getting? Come on. Come on. Oh, you don't get medals on custom scenarios, do you? Ah, never mind. Okay, guys. Come on. I press the button. Let's play locomotive livery location. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm on Streamlabs. Um, Joe. I don't know if they've got issues with the server at the moment or something, but it just seems to be a li little bit laggy and not working quite right today. Okay, guys. Right. So we said we're going with Wayne Smith box number twelve. Ten seconds. Locomotive livery location. Oh, come on, I've pressed the button. <laughs> Everything's not working, there we go. Let me know what you reckon in there, guys. Pretty Chase has gone Red Hill straight away. Straight away he's gone for Red Hill. So, let me know what you're thinking on that one. We will do a reveal in just a second. Ah, uh, British Ace, mine decided to freeze. Oh, good news. So it's, hopefully it's not good news that it decided to freeze, but hopefully it's uh, a problem there and not my end, which is which is reassuring. Um, so 84 of you lovely people in tonight. If you haven't already, guys, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. That would be very, very much appreciated, as always. Uh, if you haven't already, do go and check out my Germany videos as well. We had a day in Wuppertal on the um, Schrieverbahn, the suspended monorail. Um, and a day in Hamburg at Miniature Wonderland. They are on the channel. Do go and check those out. Uh, William Trainman Boy's gone 56 at Red Hill, Laser Jets 56 at Red Hill, JG Photography Red Hill Class 56. Oh, do you know what, guys? My buttons are Let's not working. Play. Locomotive livery location. I reckon I can press this button. Hopefully, this one's going to work. It's time to reveal today's locomotive livery location. I think the first person to get this right, and I may be wrong. I think the first person to get this right was DET Trains. Congratulations, DET Trains. That is indeed a class 56 at Redhill. But someone else, Sam Brooks, you are also not wrong. In the background, there is a class 700. Um, so, yeah, you're, you're not wrong either. You're not wrong either. Uh, South East Rail Productions, good evening Richard, hope you are well. Also 56081 at Red Hill. South East Rail Productions, that is very kind of you. Uh, thank you very much, bud, for the, um, the donation there. And Tusha, welcome to level one membership with Dad Rail. See, none of the notifications are working properly. They're all delayed. Haha, <laughs> never mind, never mind. <coughs> so there we go, guys. Sorry it didn't go to plan, but if it went to plan, it wouldn't be a Dad Rail stream, would it? But hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed it all the same. I always enjoy doing these, so um, that's what it's all about at the end of the day, isn't it? So like I say, guys, if you haven't already, do hit that like button, consider subscribing, that would be awesome. Um, if you're not a member of our Discord server already, you can head over to there. There's a link in the description below. Um, we've got railway staff and a really good sort of friendly railway community over there. You're more than welcome to join us. You can follow me on my socials, which are on the screen for you right now. Do go and check out those Germany videos because they haven't had many views and I spent a long time making them. <laughs> I know, it sounds like I'm begging now, doesn't it? No, honestly, guys, um, yeah, that'd be great. So, let's press that button there. I am not sure when the next stream's going to be, or what it's going to be on. But I will let you know ten minutes before I go live, like I usually do. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, guys. And I shall see you in the next one.
Northern Princess Productions, welcome. You've made it for the outro. 